Hey, Katie and Kathleen from the Columbia Cool out here at Mary and Martha's on Forest Drive in the Piggly Wheelie Shopping Center. We came here today to get a housewarming gift for a friend of mine, but we found so much more in the process. Um, Kathleen, why don't you show us one Let's of the things start, we found? Guys. Okay. Um, so, for all of you fabulous cooks, this is a whisk. Now, what makes this whisk different is you can see um, it's got the little balls on the end. And it actually helps to increase the airflow into what you're whisking because <laughs> that's why you're whisking. You want to add air to it. And it's easy to clean and dishwasher safe. So this is a great thing, whisking eggs, batters, I batters, think she said. Yeah, batters. And Beverly also said that you can you can kind of push these together and then you can lick the brownie batter right off. So yeah. another Perfect. great reason. All of you for, love batter. I, I do. I'll do it <laughs> just for that. Next we'll move on. On batter, we'll talk about the ice cream scoop. Um, Alton Brown, how many of you are Food Network fans? Um, this is Alton Brown approved, and it's actually his favorite ice cream scoop. The reason, up here we have a very, very um, sharp edge, so when you're digging into a hard, hard ice, ice cream, cream. Um, it's easier, it comes it comes out a lot easier. Um, then it's, it's shallow, so it's got a deep well, but it's also shallow, so you get a good size scoop, and it comes out of the big ice cream scoop. scoop very easily. Yeah, you don't want to skimp yourself on ice no, cream No, no. If we're going for ice cream, we're going big, or we're going home. <laughs> Um, next, we have this fantastically cute egg pan. Guys, this is a mini frying pan for eggs. It cooks just one egg, and the great thing about this is that it cooks quickly and easy, and it's easy to clean. So if you cook it and just fry up an egg for breakfast in the morning, this is exactly what you need. Single ladies, you can pick one of those <laughs> up and uh, cook for no one way. now. And Beverly also mentioned that it says nonstick, but you should probably still put some a little bit of oil in Pam it. or oil, exactly. Yeah, just um, something. Do you want to take a break and come back and we'll show some more in just a minute? Sounds good. We'll be right back.